Did you know that you can receive a callback from Unity when you hit the build button? This allows you to run code when building your package, which is very handy for turning off dev cheats, for example, that you don't want to make it into the built version of your game. Or in this example here, I've got a database of items, which has a method on it, which I can run called set IDs. And this will uh, add any items that I have in my project. So I've got two items here. It will add it to these items and set their IDs accordingly. But I have to call this manually. So if I create a new item, so I can right click, create uh, inventory system, inventory item data, and I can say uh, test item three. And let's call this um, apple. So you can see in my database that I don't have that item there and I would have to come up here and click set IDs. Now there are other editor functions which you can hook into, for example, serialization callbacks, etc., which would make this process automatic. But an easy way to make sure that my shiny new items are added to the database of a built version of the game is to create a class that implements the pre-process build with report interface. So you can see here, this is using uh, unity editor.build, .build reporting, and using Unity Engine. I've got it in its custom namespace and I've just called it a custom build processor. And as you can see, it implements I pre-process build with report. As a side note, this script has to sit inside an editor folder. So you can see here, I've got helpers, editor, and I've got my custom build processor script here uh, in an editor folder. With the script in place, I can use this method on preprocess build, which takes in a parameter of a build report. So the way I've set this up for my use case is I load my database from my resources folder, and then I call a set item ID function on that database. And then I just debug.log uh, to make sure that's all successful. And then over on my database script, I just run this bit of code here, which finds all of my items and adds it to the database if the database doesn't already contain that item. And you can see that in action back in the editor. So if I go to my database, you can see that I've got uh, two test items here, but I've actually got three sort of created. So if we look at my database and I go over and hit the build button and just make a build. So as you can see here, uh, hearts was already in the database, flags were already in the database, and then apples were found in the project but weren't in the database, so it got added. And then it set the item IDs for three objects, and then it logged the uh, debug.log that we saw here. So that's just a quick video on how you can run custom code when you build a project in Unity. If you like this video, it'd be great if you could hit the like button to let me know. Feel free to subscribe for more content, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!